Now we move on to the seventh question. It says, what have we spoken against you? This is from Malachi chapter 3 verse 13. So this is the problem which is very, very rampant even in modern day Christianity also. In those days when the Israelites, they started speaking among themselves. Um, uh, there is no point in going to the temple. There is no point, you know, what is that? What is the difference? You know, going to the temple, what is the point in going and worshipping Jehovah? It's all the same. Good things happens to you also. Bad thing happens to you also. Uh, what is the benefit? What is the point in paying the tithe? Uh, in what happened to us? Everything is okay. Why to worry? And why should we, keep, you know, keep up all the commandments? You know, all this they were talking among themselves. It is also like us, you know, we also say sometimes people will say, now what is the point of you going to church? You know, your, you, your car met with an accident, you didn't get a job. Or what is that? You are also Christian, you say something, but it is not. But it's also the same, you know, even after 2000 years, Jesus has come and gone. It is also the same. But I want you to uh, take this journey uh, what has gone past in the history. Like as we looked at it, uh, these people have came out of uh, uh, slavery from Egypt. They came to uh, their uh, promised land. From there they went to captivity. Since they didn't listen to God, they went into captivity. Uh, from captivity, they've been brought back. They've been built the temple. They built the wall. And now God has protected them. God has promised his uh, presence and he is looking after them and he is taking care of them. But they forgot everything. But they were talking among themselves. You know, they came. They were very, very happy for some time. But within 30 years, less than 30 years, again they started speaking ill about God. It's a cycle, you see, every time there is a up and down, up and down, up and down. That cannot be. That's why when Apostle Paul writes to Philippians, he says, rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. When? Always. Not one day, or not the tomorrow, yesterday was a good day. Oh, somebody will say, no, I don't know what happened to him, which side of bed he got out. He's been angry from the morning. Remember, the people will say, Yesterday he was good, but today he was very bad. That's how they will people. No, but we can't be. We, we should learn from them. Because they completely forgot what God has done to them and how pathetic they were, how God looked after them, how God with his grace and mercy, he looked after them and his love towards them, everything they forgot, they started speaking ill about them. Ill about God among themselves also. You know, um, if you are in ministry and you do something, when somebody comes and commits his life to God, and, you know, that gives you an immense pleasure that how much God loves them, how much God loves a sinner. But here what happens is, these people, when they go through this kind of a, a phase, they've been very happy and they, they are not happy. Then they are very happy, then they are not very happy. So what happens when they become low moments, they start talking to each other. What is the point in going? Even in our churches, today the people talk. They don't talk, you know, uh, outrightly bad. You know, even in our fellowship, when somebody comes, they'll say, wow, wonderful message. You talk to, you come, you hear a message, you tell somebody, wow, what a wonderful message. The person who doesn't approve, he won't say no. He'll say, yeah, 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 that was very good. But, what? But it was little long. But the AC was not good. But the children were only making noise. But the biryani was not good. You know, we could have asked for pizza. The, I was, that's why I was feeling sleepy. You know, all those things, they'll come, they'll start talking. 
and also you know you uh, come there will be a new sister will come to the church so they will be very happy and then immediately they will say oh that sister is so good the new sister will come and tell you oh i met that sister she has been so good she really cares for me she took care of me i am so pleased you are all so lucky oh that sister oh, she is very very good oh, she takes care of everything but watch out oh, she is very good but a little bit ah uh, okay what little you know god also says don't worry about the big thief worry about the little foxes it says little foxes you put a seed of doubt like that only among yourselves then what happens she is good but then she will talk behind your back okay is that so then she talks to somebody you what if somebody tells you that she will talk behind your back what you will think when she talking to somebody else you will thinking oh she is talking bad about me he is talking bad about me and that's what i know because that sister she already warned me that's it you have you have broken the whole thing you can easily you know you can easily lose the core value of the thing in malachi chapter 3 verse 16 it says god says that a book of remembrance is written about what we speak it will be open on the judgment day and a distinction will be made between the righteous and the wicked book of remembrance is written oh my goodness i never knew is that what you are thinking huh? in exodus 32 32 says yet now if you will forgive their sin but if not i pray blot me out of your book which you have written god is writing a book in psalm 69 verse 28 let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not of the and not be written with the righteous daniel 7:10 a fiery stream issued when come forth from before him a thousand and thousands ministered to him 10000 times 10000 stood before him the court was seated and the books were open this is about judgment daniel is saying look 1020 nevertheless do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven revelation 2012 i saw and i saw the dead small and great standing before god and books were opened and another book was opened which is book of life and the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books it's not one time it says in the bible so many times it talks about the books a book of remembrance so when you speak about somebody how you speak you should remember there is a book has been recorded can you just for a moment you think no you there is nobody in this room only you and your wife or your husband and wife or two brothers or two sisters are talking nobody is listening no nobody is listening but you are talking to each other but god is writing now and he is going to open on the judgment day and it is going to be read out it's a very scary verse no god is going to open and what you spoke and that will be revealed oh this is what you spoke about me is that what you speak about me i really wonder like you know we have got so many thoughts coming into our mind imagine if there is a lcd monitor or something on your forehead what do you think it's run out how many of you will be able to stand before somebody <laughs> especially it will be a fun in the church you will be say praise the lord brother what you will be thinking look at this idiot huh? inside but outside what you will be say praise the lord i think it's high time he change if you are speaking about somebody if you are speaking bad about somebody 
that you are speaking against God. Let me show you a verse. It may not be there. It's not there. In Job chapter 36, Job 36 verse 5. Behold, God is almighty, but despises no one. Behold, God is almighty, he despises no one. God, almighty God, but he despises nobody. Just look at the other person. He is also created in the image of God. Who created it? God created it. If you are going to look down upon somebody, that means who you are looking down? You are looking down on God. Don't try, everybody should be like you. The problem is we think you are the best and you want everybody like you. Imagine everybody is like you means the world will not be a good place to be in. I don't like everybody to be like me. It will be big boring, you know, it, it won't be fun, it won't be, it will be disaster. Imagine, right? But in the family or in the office, in the church, we want everybody like you. Everyone should agree to you. Everyone should think like you. Where do we get this thought? Remember, when you speak against someone, you are speaking against God. That's what they did, but now that we learned, we will not be like it. So take a moment and you pray, ask God, God, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to speak against anyone. And especially when I have come to know that you are writing down on a books, I don't want to be written that way. My name should be written on the book of life and I want to be written in the right way. So I want to correct myself. Lord, whatever I have committed, please forgive me. Erase it from there. Not my name. Erase it what I have, the ill words I have spoken by your blood and I want to live a right life with you. Just take a moment and you pray, then I will pray. <laughs>